Tu es aussi coupable que moi si ce type ont été tués. Tu fais partie des amis que je dois abandonner. Je te tuerai Personne n'échappe à Pablo Escobar. It was like a dream to play Maria, uh, to be in that movie, to be part of that team, uh, and to this story. It was like a really special movie. And, uh... Appelle-moi Pablo. Maria est comme une fille pour moi. Et on est ravi qu'il ait trouvé la bonne personne. I'm so happy I, I did this movie and I did the, that trip to Panama and everything. Yeah, um, Maria, yeah, um, Pablo Escobar is her uncle, and she's like a really free and pure girl that she works for the poor community, and she she really is like the Colombian people. Uh, she really loves um, Pablo because she thinks uh, Pablo is like a really good person and he's like kind of her idol, and then she has to, she falls in love with Nick, and, and she's really proud of her family, but at the end she has to discover the real truth of Pablo, and that's really painful for her. Comment a-t-il fait fortune La cocaïne. C'est un des plus gros producteurs au monde. Presque tout ce qu'il gagne est reversé aux pauvres. On ne peut plus accepter ces injustices sociales. Un genre de Robin des Bois Oui, c'est Robin des Bois. Yeah, I was, I was really attracted to Nick. I think that he is a guy that goes through such a transformation over the story. I think that to, to, to experience what he goes through was something that I, I was really excited to show and really excited to tell. And, Um, yeah, it, it is different for me, but I, I, and I was nervous too, but, but Andrea, our director, gave me such a, a confidence in myself and a confidence in the story that, that I, was, I was very excited and happy to, to go on an adventure like this. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I think, I mean, I, I'm someone that I, I like to believe that I fight for love and I fight for what I believe in, so... I think I have that in common with Nick, and, and I think Nick too is, he goes to Columbia searching for this like, experience, you know, and it's an experiential person. I think I'm the same way. I want to experience life in so many different ways and, and every element, so I think that I have quite a bit in, in common with Nick. And you? Yeah, I think, mm, yeah, no, I, I think I family. have so, like, no, actually, no, it's true, like, I don't have, like, the, the things, like, the family, I don't have a big family, uh, and I'm from Spain, she's from Colombia, so we're, like, different and I had to create that character that created the Colombian. But in the personal things, like in the emotions, I think we we have that pure vision about life and, and I think we have like things in common. Bonjour, Monsieur Escobar. Appelle-moi Pablo. Maria est comme une fille pour moi. Et on est ravi qu'il ait trouvé la bonne personne. They did a bad, bad thing. Comment a-t-il fait fortune La cocaïne. C'est un des plus gros producteurs au monde. Presque tout ce qu'il gagne est reversé aux pauvres. On ne peut plus accepter ces injustices sociales. Un genre de Robin des Bois <laughs> C'est Robin des Bois. It was so good. Yeah, it was great. No, Benicio, Benicio was incredible. He was um, so real and, and, and so. I don't know, just, just he brings such a reality into the scenes and, and he's so intense as an actor. I mean, his character is intense and his movies, he, most of the time he does, is very intense characters. Uh, so I was nervous, but he was great with, with both of us. He was really great about helping us to create a scene together. You really feel yeah. like when you're a scene with him, it's not just him acting, it's not just you acting, you're actually creating something special, which is, which is really nice. Yeah, he was like an uh, inspiration, I think, for us, yeah. and, and he's like one of these actors that make you be a better actor, yeah, you know, no, and, totally. and that's like incredible to have next to you in a set. And what Sorry, is it, is, it, is it recording? Because the red, li red light's not on. Yeah, I always, yeah, I always, yeah, is yeah. it just the light's not working? No okay, all right. I, I, I just don't want, I don't want to have you know. Okay, sorry, sorry. Continue. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> We were, I was so excited. Yeah. We were both so excited. We were like, in sh I think I was in shock because uh, you like you don't know what you're gonna see, you know? Like mm -hmm. you, you remember the scenes and you read the script, but then the vision is so different, the music, the, the photography, the acting, the takes that he chose, you know, like everything. And, but I don't know, I couldn't stop crying the first time I, I saw it because I was really touched by the story and I think that Andrea did an incredible job. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. I, I was so shocked. I mean, yeah, like Claudia said, exactly. You read the script, you do the scenes, but then they choose whatever takes they want. They put the music, editing, everything. And so, like, when you see the final product, I, I was so happy. I was so... I had high expectations because I believed in it and I loved <coughs> Andrea and everything. But 
but he made it so much better than I expected, really. Je dois pouvoir faire confiance à tous les gens qui m'entourent. C'est clair? Uh, for me, I think the most difficult part, because the acting part was so difficult, but it's so that Andrea was so good with, with us directing, uh, so it makes everything more easy. Uh, so I think for me, the harder part was like, um, to speak English in the movie, to have to create a, an English Colombian character, that was like a talent for me. And then, I don't know, the, the scenes, yeah, of course, the scenes that you have to put so much emotion. Like the last scene, for example, of the movie was sure, like yeah. a really, really difficult scene, but because you have to really be into the, the scene and it's really hard to go to that place, but, but it was really, I don't know, like, I don't know, like really amazing to feel that and, and to, because Andrea is a director that makes you able to go to that place and, and it's so good to feel that as an actor. I think my best memories were, were in the beginning of the shoot when we, we first started filming uh, in this like beautiful like little beach town in, uh, in, on an island in, in, the Pan in Panama. And uh, just like getting to know everyone, like meeting Claudia, meeting the crew, like creating this little family on set. Uh, that time was like, I don't know, it was like a magic kind yeah. of moment. So that was like really a special, a special time, I think, for me. But then the whole shoot, honestly, the whole, like, shoot, the whole thing yeah. was really incredible. Like every scene, yeah. 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 French public. Uh, I, I hope that the <laughs> French enjoy the film. I, I think that um, it's a really, it's a powerful movie. It's really powerful. I think if I had to describe the movie, I would say powerful because it's a tragedy. Uh, it's beautiful and it's intense and, and the, the main motivating factor is love. So if you want to see that kind of movie, then you should see our movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hope they like it and, and they believe the love story of Nick and Maria and, and I don't know, and they like the story because we made the, the movie with so much love and yeah. passion. So okay, can you say something like in French? Oh. Um, je m'appelle um, Claudia. Claudia. Je m'appelle Josh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say enjoy je the movie. Suis, je suis très feliz, happy. Feliz. Content. 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 Um, je t'ai perdu. C'est <laughs> une belle <laughs> movie. C'est une belle movie. C'est un beau film. C'est un beau film. C'est un beau film. Oui. <laughs> Merci. Thank you very much. Thank you. Personne n'échappe à Pablo Escobar.